Hi friends and welcome once again to my YouTube channel Student Zone. I am Jyoti and we are studying the chapter Carbon and its Compounds. In the previous video, we saw about alkanes, alkenes and alkynes and their differences. In this video, we are going to study about nomenclature of saturated hydrocarbons. But before that, like and share my YouTube video and also subscribe my YouTube channel. So, let's start. A compound is named after the longest straight carbon chain in the molecule of the compound. The prefix of the name indicates the number of carbon atoms present in the chain. Here in this table, we can see different number of carbon atoms and the prefix used. If we have one carbon atom in the chain, we use the prefix meth. If we have two carbon atoms, we use the prefix it. For three carbon atoms, we use prop. For four, we use bute. For five, we use pent. If six carbon atoms, we use hex. For 7 carbon atoms, we use hept. For 8, we use oct. For 9, we use non. And for 10 carbon atoms in the chain, we use dec. So here in this table, we can see the different number of carbon atoms and the prefixes plus the suffix used and finally we get the name. For saturated hydrocarbons, the suffix "-ane", is used. So here we can see if carbon number is 1, then prefix "-meth", plus suffix "-ane", gives methane. The name of the compound is methane. If we have two carbon atoms, it plus "-ane", is ethane. If we have three carbon atoms, we use prop plus "-ane", propane and so on a branch chain hydrocarbon is regarded as the derivative of the hydrocarbon corresponding to the longest straight chain in the compound in the longest straight chain the carbon atoms are numbered 1 2 3 4 etc the branched or substituted groups are assigned names with the position of the group along the straight chain. This is indicated by number of carbon atom to which the group is attached. The end carbon atom is called the carbon atom number 1 such that the carbon atom to which the group is attached gets the smallest number possible. The group obtained after the removal of one hydrogen atom from an alkane is known as alkyl group. The ge uh, general formula of alkyl group is CnH2n plus 1 where n is equal to number of carbon atoms. So here we have a table in which the different alkyl groups are present and their structures. Now here we have a few examples. The first example is CH3, CH, CH3 and here one alkyl group attached to this chain. So first step is to label the longest carbon chain. So we have labeled here 1, 2 and 3 and uh, carbon number 2 is attached to the alkyl group which is methyl group. So here when we start naming it, 3 carbon atoms present so it will be propane but the second carbon atom is attached to the methyl group so the name will be 2-methyl propane why 2-methyl because carbon 2 is having the methyl group attached to it and propane because three carbon atoms are present in the longest chain now the second example, 
second example is ch3 ch2 ch2 and here ch and ch3 now we have to um, give the numbers in such a way that uh, the carbon atom having the alkyl group should get the least number so we'll start labeling it from this side right side 1 2 3 4 and 5 now here we can see that five atoms are present in the longest chain so it will be pentane and carbon number two is having this methyl group so we'll name it as 2-methyl pentane pentane because of five carbon atoms present in the chain and 2-methyl because carbon 2 is having the methyl group now the third example we have CH3, CH2, CH, CH2, CH, CH3 and again two methyl groups are present. So the way in which we labeled here, the same way we'll mark here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Now here we can see that carbon number 2 and carbon number 4 is having the methyl groups. So, we will name it as 2,4-dimethylhexane. Now, let me explain. 2,4-dimethyl is written because carbon 2 and carbon 4 both are having two alkyl groups each. here, uh, Not each. One here and one here. So, 2,4-dimethyl. And hexane we have written because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, total 6 carbon atoms in the longest chain. So this is how we can uh, name the different straight chain alkanes. So in this video we saw about nomenclature of saturated hydrocarbons. I have shared the links of two other videos in the description box. Go and check it out. If you find this video informative, like and share it and do subscribe my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this and take care and bye-bye.